seen this kind of love before. Ah. I've never I seen stand to this declare kind and bear of witness to the truth that God is love and He's a healer. My name is IJ Grieg and I'm on the witness box on Peculiar Moments and this is my love story. About two years ago, I had an experience where I believed God for something and I trusted that it was going to go a certain way. And I would almost say that I got confirmations from people I respected, friends, close people, you know, very spiritual people and, and it was like this is this is what God is saying about this issue and this is what you should do and I took a very very big risk I took I didn't just take one one risk I took it was like I just gave my whole life to this thing because I felt that you know I love God and I'll do whatever it takes to please God because that was my understanding of my relationship with God it was me trying to please God so even if it felt actually that I was struggling on this thing that I thought God was telling me to do I was still giving my all to it because I felt this is what God wanted me to do and basically I have to do it with everything and then I got confirmations from everywhere so it will turn out that it, the whole thing flopped and it didn't just flop it came with a it came with devastating shame, and the embarrassment, um, disappointment. The people who were standing by me on this decision turned their backs on me and even began to speak of me in a way that was, you know, not what I expected. Well, that wasn't my issue because I know people that will always be people, right? So um, I felt that I turned the whole aggression back at God because. I mean, I'm not one to do something just because someone is saying it. I would want to pray about my decisions and that's sort of how I grew in my relationship with God. You know, I was in that place where, first of all, I believed that God was speaking to me. And yes, I was new on the journey of you know, hearing God clearly. But then I'm like, oh no, like my faith just got messed up at that point. I just blocked God out in a way in a way that only God will understand because even me, I thought, I, I really thought I was fine, I thought I was good, like I was in the choir, I was serving God, I was doing everything else but something had changed inside me, you know. Secondly, I didn't know that I had broken something inside me in my relationship with him, it's like a manufacturer and a product. I was just going around like doing my do and whatever and I didn't know that I was just broken somewhere, maybe just a little crack, you know, but it mattered to him. And during that moment of worship, singing the song, when I remember the line of the song, I know that you love me. He just repaired something, just something I didn't even know was broken. And I feel so light in my spirit and a lot has changed in my relationship with God. And I'm just, I feel so honored to share this testimony with you. They be say make you leave me, but you know me, oh, oh. Mm. I be where you love me, daddy, oh. He was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquity he was wounded for my transgressions and he was bruised for my iniquity and the chastisement of my peace was upon him and on the cross where jesus died he took away my infirmity and with his blood purchased my liberty now I'm whole Because of his blood There is power in the blood of Jesus Healing in the blood of Jesus Power in the blood of Jesus I believe there is power in the blood of Jesus Healing in 
stripes Oh, I am healed Yes, I am healed Yes, I am healed There is power in the blood of the Lamb Thank you, Jesus, for the cross Third day heroes and death was swept. 